listen do not give God a template he must use before you believe that is unbelief Lord I want you to lift me but please can you use this man to lift me that is unbelief the economy of heaven does not work that way there are about 8 billion actors that God can use anyone can be used by God for your rising your uncle says no there must be someone saying yes somewhere the challenge is that our faith is auxiliary faith it is not absolute faith you are saying faith but at the back of your mind you are hoping that faith is connected to somebody or something I can tell you instances in my life where God said he would do many things and it did not make sense I have mastered the art of being faithful in my area of the faith equation while not bothering myself with the area that is none of my business and it shall come to pass that if you diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to obey to do and observe all that I command you this day that you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you how they will come is none of my business all I know is that if I obey him in walking in keeping you will marvel and wonder at the creativity of the Holy Spirit hallelujah do you believe me I'm saying that because I need to put your faith in place so that when we begin to pray you look beyond the pain the pain is real I'm not denying it it is there the sickness is there but can you look on there were serpents on the ground but Moses said there are two kinds of serpents you can look at the one lifted by instruction or the one coming to you that if you can look at the brazen altar the brazen serpent you will leave there are two names you can look at the one you are holding as a medical report or the one exalted as Lord and Christ there are two names you can look at unemployment as a name or the provider as Jaira there are two names you can look at untimely death or the resurrection and the life there are always many names and you are at liberty to turn whatever direction except that where your face turns is where your life turns to they looked onto him and the Bible says their faces were lightened Lot's wife was mandated to not look back but the Bible says while she was going I don't know what it is about Sodom that caught her attention she turned and even in the midst of great deliverance she stood there her own was not delay was not retrogression was not stagnation she became salt a pillar a monument a warning that if any man draws back my soul will find no pleasure in him and the Bible makes reference to her tragedy it says remember Lord's wife please hear me there is nothing you cannot do there's no mountain if you have said it then you will do it you, you have a track record in your world and you're not about to stop the now ladies and gentlemen hear me you are not the first to need a job no you are not the first to be diagnosed with a challenging situation my bible says listen that the thing that is is the thing that was and the thing that is to happen there is nothing new under the sun the bible is full of men who survive what you are going through that by reading their story to be a consolation to you are we together that jesus christ is the same yesterday you are not the first to start having a bone condition an ear condition a neck pain no apostle but men have prayed and prayed for me why don't you release your faith tonight and look unto jesus did the bible not say about the woman with the issue of blood that she spent all her earnings on doctors and physicians she was not an irresponsible woman she made efforts before that time to meet people but the solution it was not a permanent solution not until jesus came not until jesus came ladies and gentlemen a miracle service is beyond a healing service a healing is a major part of it 
but God is concerned about every aspect of your life including the housing issue including the finance issue did you hear what I said including that issue that has brought shame and reproach this is God for you so that when it's time to release your faith don't stand to be a spectator and say well Lord I know that you will touch me no you have to be an active participant to work with the Holy Spirit don't waste the time that you, you have spent time to come many of you have been here since morning waiting releasing your faith now is the time insist and ensure that I will not go back the same and for those who are connecting online I've taught you that distance is no barrier that every spirit that is troubling you must leave and every condition that is in partnership with any spirit mocking God in your life it's time to insist it must go you are a man of God and you have come here because of there are certain deficiencies of results you've seen in your life and your ministry it's time to obtain grace genuine grace that empowers you to go back and produce results hallelujah praise the name of the Lord but my emphasis tonight I and, and I began to sense this very strongly as I prayed is God really really wants to step in to bring healing miracles healing miracles the the spread of sicknesses and diseases mysterious occurrences eating up people's bodies you see someone alive and strong standing but something is dying within him heart dying liver dying kidney dying brain dying what a devil how does it transport itself from anywhere until it finds itself in your brain then it latches there and starts growing yet we call them unicellular what gave them the intelligence to know that that is your brain that is your heart that is this and that hallelujah that all the pain you are going don't wait until you are they diagnose it and say this is finally this if it is discomforting you that devil must leave this night in the name of Jesus Christ how about those who have all kinds of dreams activities of familiar spirits masquerading as loved ones that you have seen help those under the anointing I'm angry in my spirit oh let me tell you and that that anger in partnership with the anointing is about to be unleashed in this place there is a holy anger that is necessary for certain levels of breakthrough when you love God's people and you see them under oppression except you are you are also satanic you should not be smiling hallelujah there are some of you that all your earnings have finished in drugs or treatments you see it's another dimension of the manifestation of the devourer because when your health is disturbed no amount becomes too much to keep your life and 10 million naira can finish in one month because of a devil masquerading in your body so it's not only healing you are going to receive there must be restoration do you believe that restoration 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 now there are those who are not sick in terms of infirmity but they are diseased they lie down and they cannot sleep the trouble that is on you is heavier than the bed you are lying down on and it's as if the bed is on you you wake up tired more tired than you because there's trouble there's school fees your children are abroad you are thinking of taking care of them the ones here all kinds of trouble maybe the rates housing has increased no a miracle service is a convergence where god brings his people and allows them to collide with his transforming power with his miracle working power there is a consolation to the believers christian experience that god can arise and he can visit men and with visitations come redemption hallelujah gentlemen I announce to you that this is a miracle service where God will raise you from the dust of shame finally in the name of Jesus Christ raise you from the dust of shame and decorate your life like Pharaoh did that of Joseph you believe that shout a loud amen hallelujah I hope you know that the garment 
shame and despair can be worn like a garment is it in your bible that a man can wear it the same way i cannot look at someone dressed on suit and say you're wearing traditionals no a man can wear the garment of shame and walk with it walk with it to your place of work walk with it to and several people who should help you just ignore you you don't know what they are seeing they don't know what they are seeing but the results of rejection is clear can i tell you psychologists teach us that rejection is the worst thing that can happen to a man from a psychological standpoint to be rejected means to be given a clear message that you are not needed within a system you are not needed within your workplace that is that is where people try to pretend so that they belong but there's something god can place on your head that when he places it on your head even from the prison the king can send for you and bring you out of any dungeon i hope you believe what i'm telling you listen let me say this one last one last encouragement and then we'll pray always be conscious of the fact that spiritual forces have dominion and exact dominion over the physical men even science has agreed with religion and spirituality that no man walks alone you see a man alone but there are forces we carry is that true a man can walk alone if you met the madman in gadara and he came and met you and just shook your hand you would believe you were shaking one man not knowing you were shaking a legion the same way you can see one man and believe you are shaking one man you just you will know that you shook hand with speed you shook hand with favor you shook hand with breakthrough you shook hand with elevation it is true graces are trapped in men it is your responsibility tonight to scan through your life and see what is not working and pray and insist that in the name of Jesus it must begin to work this is why I came here Lord I'm tired of this shame and reproach over my family my loved ones why is it that good things keep happening on, until we show up and then the narrative just changes there is a way out I don't know what the way is but I know there is a way out and then you engage by faith are you ready to pray will take two or three minutes to pray I want you to release your faith sincerely God brought us to this miracle service to see to it that we return with strange manifestations of his power lift your voice in one minute everywhere whether you are outside whether you are inside all the overflows go ahead and begin to pray indeed it is my night God is giving me a story Shalika Paraka Sobranda Kebeleketash Kebrate Kabareka Skota Beleketan Manta Prakata Beleketos Katibala Sandabash This disease, this infirmity is living finally Someone pray This embargo of shame and reproach Backwardness, retrogression is giving way in the name of Jesus Take a minute to release your faith. It's time for gates to be open. It's time for doors to be open. Time for new chapters to be open. Make sure you are praying, engage by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me give you one more prayer point. If you are not interested, don't pray it. You can pray the rest. You are going to declare that every spirit that keeps me or anybody around me poor, and limited begging and in servitude in the name of jesus i curse it by the spirit open your mouth and pray pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding many things in our lives are connected to our economic empowerment 
many things in our lives will make progress when economic empowerment is at work in us. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus hear me hear me tonight there are three things I want you to fight by faith number one is sickness and any kind of bodily limitation number two smallness in life and destiny this is you know the purpose of influence so I'm not afraid to teach you and release grace upon you for as long as you remain small you will be weak and there are many things you will not be able to do for the kingdom smallness is a curse let me tell you straight to the point do not let anything and anyone massage you into believing that a life of smallness is a blessing there is greatness without vision that is also a foolish template for living but in the presence of vision and understanding there is no limit to what greatness and influence can do in your life and then number three poverty do you know that many things in your life will be impeded when you are economically handicapped? That is the truth. There's a song that is in my spirit. Yesu kaine haskena In the kabihan and in the Caribbean, one more time. The light of the world. God bless you. Thank you once again for staying tuned with us and even till this point. My name is Lemuel Anthony and I'm glad to bring to you um, a preamble of what you have expected to receive from God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. In the Bible, Paul speaking in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and from verse 1, he said, And I, brethren, when I came unto you, came not with the excellency of speech of wisdom declaring unto you the testimony of god he said for i determined to know not to know anything among you save jesus christ and him crucified this was Paul speaking in first corinthians the Paul to the church at corinth and by major emphasis paul had to relate to the church that the word of the lord that he br brings to them is not just to um, cajole them, saving that Jesus be in them and him crucified. And then he went further down to verse 4. He said, And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, 
but in the demonstration of the spirit and of the power of god this is truly the essence of the gospel that as we receive the gospel our heart becomes bogus our heart becomes open for the utmost the full demonstration of the power of the lord paul emphasizing to the church at corinth that the speech the words though they may look like words flowing out sounds being made from his mouth but they didn't come with enticing um words of wisdom but in the demonstration of the spirit and the power of god and he didn't just leave them to that end but he also allowed them to know why the gospel coming to them is coming to them with the demonstration of the spirit and the power of the lord in verse 5 he said that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of god now this is the full essence if the faith of a man can be dwindled the faith of a man can can shiver the faith of a man can become weary at some point this is the reason why the excellency of the world becomes reality via the demonstration of the spirit and the power of the lord and this was what paul was bringing to the church at corinth why that their faith will not stand in men their faith will not stand in the wisdom of men not in what men have thought not in the excellency of speech but their faith will stand in the power of god and this is why reflector hub youtube channel we've received the mandate from the lord that the internet is more than an advantage that as the word of the lord is being shared across different nations on this space via his servant apostle joshua selman we are glad to bring to you the demonstration of the spirit and the power of the lord on this channel and for you to stay tuned we'd like you to do well to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell as that will make you consistently updated on our daily uploads do well also to share and god bless you love you so much